So, so, so you brought up really two interesting points, and, and I'm actually very curious because con economics are fascinating to me. Again, I love economics. I love money. I love how money operates and even business. And so, and, and we're not diving into your personal finances, I promise. So this is everybody relax. But what is that like for you to make determinations? Because when you are to a con, you know, mm -hmm. it is your time. It's time away from wherever else you're doing. It is. I'm from, from you from watching television or working on a new cover or even catching, you know, sleep. And also being at a con, you know, you're, whether you're sitting down, you have to sell, you got to put on a happy face. Not saying you're not happy to be there, but, you know, after 16 hours of selling, you might want to tell somebody to go to hell. You know, you might be sick of people and it's nothing personal, but I don't no. want to be on people for 16 hours and I like people. I don't want to interview people for 16 hours either. So <laughs> What what is that like? Because time is money, and even making those determinations, yeah, I mean, and those also are, paying for a table and everything as well. Sometimes, well, now that's one thing. I won't go to a con if I'm paying. If they want me to pay for a table, I can sit back in my PJs in my studio, and I'll be fine. But um, I usually only go to the cons where somebody offers me a table or asks me to come or whatever. Um. Cause I've just got to that point where I almost have to, cause I'm having to really ease back on cons. I do. I love getting out there cause I love talking to the fans and I, I, you know, it energizes me because during the week I'm here by myself and it, you know, my son's grown and out and I'm here by myself and I'm just going Looney Tunes nuts. Uh, that's about the only time I get out of the house cause I'm working so much on these things. Um, so I, I, I like going, but you know, a lot of my girlfriend, I'll tell you, she will sit there and listen to me tell the same story a hundred times, you know, during one day of a con, everybody always asks, Oh, you went to this city for this con? Oh, it must be great. Did y'all go out and see this? I'm like, no, no, we did not. We left. We went straight back to the hotel room and my girlfriend knows I lay face down on the bed for at least 15 or 20 minutes just to decompress from telling the same story over and over and over again. But I don't mind it at all because these people travel from all over to come see me and see my stuff. The least I can do is try to be on, you know, um, I, I'd hate for somebody to come up and want to come see me. And then I'm just kind of, cause when I was before I broke into the business and I was just kind of going and filling stuff out because there was no internet and you know, you take your portfolio to the cons and all that. And I remember uh, I had, I had a bad experience with a few that uh, were just kind of like sitting down hunched over their board. Man, man. Yeah. And I was just like, Oh my goodness. You know, it's almost like these people hate being here, hate what they're doing. I mean, so I always try to be on. I get to know a lot of the people and they friend me on Facebook and we talk and it's a good thing. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it and there's times even with getting my tables comped and hotels and all that stuff, it helps obviously with the economics, but still sometimes I have to weigh that against my workflow. 